Hello everyone, Sandra Lemming here and today I want to show you how you can use a nifty little free page builder plugin called Nimble Page Builder and I'm going to show you how to actually create a page. Now when you install this plugin on your website, if you've already got pages with content on them, do not try and actually edit those pages with the plugin. What you'll want to do is you'll want to create a new page and then just transfer the content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into pages first, or pages, and I'm going to actually open up the page that we're going to be editing. So I'm going to click on view and open that in a new tab. So I like to work in a couple of tabs when I'm working on a website. It just, uh, it helps. So this is the page that we want to like, you know, we want to redo, right? We want to build with the nimble page builder. Okay. So what you do is you go into your pages and this is the page that I've already created. So if I go into edit here, What I want to do is I want to build it with the Nimble Page Builder. So I'm going to click on Build with Nimble Builder. Now Nimble Page Builder is a free um, page building plugin. Um, so yeah you can um, you can do that now I forgot to disable my cache plugin so if you have a caching plugin you just might need to disable that so I'm just going to go into my dashboard here and I'm going to go into my plugins and I'm just going to just deactivate the caching plugin for the moment I'll switch it back on when I finish building the page. But these are the things that you need to remember when you're using page builders and stuff. You know, different plugins can have different effects, um, you know, and, well, yeah. I'm just going to open a new tab there and I'm just going to, there we go, so I can see my two tabs here. All right, okay, so, in here I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to click on view for that one I'm going to go to here all right okay so no more warning sign here now the first thing that you want to do right so obviously you've got this sort of you've got the standard theme um, settings and stuff on the actual page so what you want to do is you want to uh, go into your back arrow here and you want to be on this part of your Nimble Page Builder and you want to go to Current Page Options. You must do this with every new page you create. I mean, you can set globals and stuff, but I just like to manually do it. So you go to Page Template and see how you're on the default theme page. Well, we don't want to be on the default theme. We want to be on the Nimble Builder theme. And then we also want to do our own headers and footers. So we want to come down to Page Header and Footer and we don't want to inherit the site-wide options. We want to use um, Nimble um, header and, and footer, right? So we want to click there. And voila, there you go. You've pretty much got a nice blank page to work from here. I'm just going to have a quick skizzy at this. Okay, so um, one header. Um, I'm not going to try and rewrite this person's content or anything. I'm just going to try and uh, do the best I can to just make it look more presentable. So what I've done is I've clicked, as you notice there, I'll just, um, I clicked the little black thing to insert a new section. 
So I've inserted a new section here and I'm and it pulls up this here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on pick a module and I'm going to insert a header. And then I'm going to insert a new section here. And I'm going to go back to pick a module. And I'm going to go two columns here. So basically, I'm partially building the page. So this is sort of a two column thing. Um, and it'll look tighter as a two column thing. I'm not going to worry about this just yet. I'm just going to show you the top part of the page. You get the idea, right? So I'm going to build, rebuild this top part of the page with a new um, header, like with a new header and stuff up here. Um, and I'll, but I won't show you the actual whole page. Um, but I'm just going to build the top part of the page so you can see how to use the Nimble Page Builder. So I've got that there. So what I need to do is I need to insert a header. So I'm going to click on insert a new section here. So and it you need to make sure it's on sections and I'm going to scroll down. I don't need this section here so I can close this section up. So I don't need any of these sections. I can actually click on my sections. And I've got sections here, right? So I've got a couple of things that I've done. I've got a footer menu there. I've got a header here. And I've got a header menu. So I'm going to drag and drop that header menu just up there like that. So once I see the dark blue line there, I can drop it. And there you go. So that will look like the rest of the website. Then I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to drag the footer over. Here. And when I see the dark blue, I'm going to do that. All right, so I've got my footer and I've got my header there, which is good. So let's get back to editing the header. So I'm going to click on header and you can see over here, title there. So I'm just going to put introduction. So this is not my website, this is somebody else's website. So I don't want to make too many changes to what they've crafted as far as their content is concerned. So I'm going to keep it relatively um, close to what this person has created. I'm just going to dress it up a little bit, right? I'm just going to do some design work. So I've got introduction there. So I'm going to leave that there. I might actually um, I might go over here and I might go there. All right. Okay. So now with this, I can do multiple things here. I can, um, I've got a header one. Um, I can change the alignment of that, uh, as you can see. Just give it a minute to make its changes. Don't rush it. Um, when you rush things, that's when you make mistakes. Uh, you can link it if you want. So you can turn this on and put a link in there if you want. You can change the, um, when you finish working in the content section, you can actually close that up. And as you, you've seen in the content section there, you can also view to see what it looks like in your desktop, your uh, your tablets and your mobile devices. So when you're finishing or editing a section, you can check to make sure that it's mobile friendly, mobile readable, looks good in a mobile. So I'm going to close up the content section because I've done all I want to do there. I want to go down to the text settings, font, color, size. So I'm going to click on that box and open it up. And I'm going to choose the font that this um, client told me that they like. So I'm going to click in here, which is Railway Regular. And I'm going to 
not touch anymore. I'm just going to leave that at that. If I wanted to change the text color, I could change the text color here. I don't have a color, but if I wanted to change the text color, I can change it to say to a green. And drag that all the way up. And there you go, we have a green. I can even make it a little bit darker if I want. Go down a fraction. There you go. Um, you know, and obviously I would copy that and paste it into a notepad or whatever. Now I'm not going to do any of that right now, but um, you know, I would save that color, paste it into a notepad. So that way, if I wanted to do the other headings on the page, that color, I, I would have that color. Okay, so that's that color done. Now you can have a mouse over color if you want. So if you wanted it to change color when somebody moused over it, you could. You can change the weight of it here. Now weight just means, you know, how heavy it looks. You know, it, it is it like if you went to 600, that would sort of look bolded out, right? See how it looks bolded out? So that's the weight of, of it. That's the weight of the text. I'm going to leave it at normal there. And the letter spacings, I'm going to go one, and then I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to worry about any spacings or anything like that. I usually come back and I do spacings and things after I've built the page because that's when you usually need to do your spacings. If you do your spacings and stuff too soon on the page, like you know how close this is to here and all that sort of stuff, well then when you finish the page, the page looks sticky. So there are some things you'll do when you finish building the page and then there are other things you'll do in the initial build. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to put in an image here. So I'm going to come to here and I so I need modules now, not sections. I need modules. So remember the sections are where you can go to your uh, saved sections. Um, you know, your pre-built templates. And that's what I love about this little free plugin. You get a few pre-built templates there that you can use. Um, okay, it's not a, you know, not a great deal, but there's a few there that you can use. Um, and they're fully customizable as well. So I'm going to go back to pick a module. I want to put a photo one in here. So I'm going to find image, drag it over. As soon as I see it go dark blue, I'm going to paste it in there. And then I'm going to have a look at the image there, okay, facing that way. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to change the image. And I'm going to quickly scroll through the images to see if I can find that particular image. There we go. Um, there's a couple of them. No alt text there. No alt text there. No alt text there. Right, so we might go the bigger one. And we will uh, choose the image. I'll come back and do the alt text in a little bit. Alrighty. So there we go. We've got the image there. So then over on this side, um, I mean, you can do some things with the image here as well. So you can change the size of it here. So you can go here um, and you, you can see you've got your different sizes here that you can change it to. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, you've got, uh, you can um, schedule an action um, on click or tap. So if you click in there, you can um, link to a custom URL. You can open it in Lightbox. You can link to image file or you can link to image page. Uh, you can position it more to the left, more to the right. So you can click there and position it more over to the left. Um, you know, more to the right, it's entirely up to you. Uh, you can um, set the text displayed when moused over, so you can turn that on. 
and you can choose to put some text in there, custom text displayed on mouse over so you can click in there and you can write some custom text in there if you want so when somebody mouses over that the text pops up right uh, you can also have custom image widths and custom image heights which is really good for a free page builder plugin not many of them do that you can have mouse over effects here uh, if you want to you can add a shadow if you want so, you know, you can have mouse over effects. You've got a couple of them. You can blur, move it up, down, whatever. Um, quite interesting there. Um, you could apply a shadow if you wanted to. Um, so there's sort of like a little bit of a shadow around the box. And that'll look even more so when you actually um, look at the page once it's finished created. Uh, it'll sort of look like that's sort of popping out slightly. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to put in a text module now. So I need a text. And I'll put that there. And as you see, it has the standard text in it. Um, and it pops up down below here. So you can, you know, you've got more space to, you know, play around and do what you're doing. So then I'll just go over here and I can... Um, <coughs> I can copy all of this text. And what I like to do is copy. I like to open up a plain notepad and I will delete that. And I like to paste it in there. And then I like to recopy it. So it's got no formatting in it. Copy and we go back to here and then we highlight that and we paste as plain text and then we don't need that there. Alrighty, um, a little bit more of a space there. Uh, alrighty, so then, I mean, you can scroll down through these and you can, you know, if, press that there. And then over here, you can center it, make it more to the left, whatever. I'm going to leave it all aligned to the left. Um, then I'm going to close the content section here. And I'm going to open up the text settings and I'm going to change the font so it matches matchy throughout the website. Keep it all congruent. Um, I'm going to leave it at 16 because I think that's pretty good. I might increase that a little bit. So that's all right. Um, text color, we might make it a nice black. Yep. We'll keep the font weight at 400. We'll make this normal. Uh, I don't think I'll change anything else there. I think I will just save that. And yes, so I will. Yep, so that's saved. So that's done. I've got the, the top part down done. So now all I need to do is, you know, figure out how I want to design um, the rest of it. You know, what I want to do with this and that sort of thing. Um, yada, yada, yada. So, and I mean, the great thing about this is if you don't want the image this big, you can always just slide this in here a little bit. You can actually make, see how you can make the image smaller? I mean, of course, you're going to have more writing than image there, but, you know, I sort of like it. Um, where it was more
Alrighty. So there you go. So now what I'm going to do, like you can always publish this and come back later and do some more editing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to publish this just to give you a bit of an idea on what's happening and what this page is going to look like, right? So, um, and just keep in mind, it's just the start of the page. So I've just published it. So now I'm going to click on the X here. And there you go. So you've got your image all the way up there. Um, you know, and I mean, you might not like the image that big, so you might go in and change it, right? So, and that's the great thing about this. You know, you can publish a section, have a look at it. So we can go back into Nimble Page Builder here. and We can make that a lot smaller now. So we can probably reduce that by, I would say, probably 30, 40%. So if we come here, we can grab this and we can, I would say, probably reduce that into about that there. And then publish that. And then click the X. And there you go. We've got the text there. The image is a bit smaller. I mean, we can make it even smaller again. Um, you know, it's just a matter of clicking back onto your nimble page builder here. But at least the top looks good. And the rest is looking good. So we come back into the nimble page builder. And I mean, we can do all sorts of things. I know it's hard from here. It looks like this is bigger than that. Um, but that's just the way it is with some things. I mean, it is a free tool. So, you know. We have to sort of um, be aware of that. We can go to here, um, to the image here. And I mean, we can make the image smaller if we want. We can go to a medium. And... Okay. We can publish it. Then we can click the X. And there you go. So that's looking better there. I mean, I can even move this closer, um, you know, to this side here if I want to. So the writing and the image are almost aligned, you know. So, I mean, I can go back in here and I can probably move this into the center, which will look better. So I'll go in here. And I'll click on the image again. And what I'll do is I'll align it to the center. There we go. And then I'll publish that. And then I'll go out. And there you go. So that's looking a lot better, a lot tidier. And now you can see I've got room. I can start putting some extra content under here. Um, so I can have a look at the rest of the page now and see how I want to design the rest of the page. Um, you know, and I mean, I can even put, you know, colored backgrounds and stuff. So if I wanted to, I could go back into, I could make this smaller, this title up here if I wanted to. But I can basically go back into Nimble, um, and I can actually put a colored background behind this. So now that I'm in the builder area, I'll show you what I mean. So I can scroll over. So this is a whole section, right? So these two columns are inside a section. So I can click on the section and see how it's brought up backgrounds here. I can go to background here and I can select a color. I mean, you can put a background image as well. So I could go here and then I could lighten that up a little bit. You 
sort of digging that. Right. Make it a fraction darker. There you go. So that's that there. And I mean, if I wanted to have margins and stuff around this section, I can go into the spacing. So, you know, you've got padding and margins in here. So I can go in here and I can, the top part, if you scroll over that, that's a margin top. So I could put a margin top here. And you see it's moving it away from that top section there. Now, if I didn't want all of this to be so close to the top there, I could go into here and I can increase the padding there. See how it moves it down? And you've got some space at the top there and some space at the bottom. And I can do the same with sides as well. So I can bring the padding in on the sides. So I can come, I might bring it down to 24 there. And do, uh, Fourteen on that side, and we will give it a bottom margin. And now, if I save that, publish, you'll see what a big difference just a coloured background can make. So there you go. So we put a bit of space there. I can even put more space there if I want. Um, you know, so we've got the, the top part of our header there. We've got this section here. And, you know, I've got some space at the bottom. I can put some more space at the bottom if I want. Um, this isn't too close over here. This isn't too close over here. And, I mean, I can even squish those in further if I want. If I want to make the image a little bit bigger, I can. It's all a matter of just going back in and making the adjustments however you want to make the adjustments really um yeah alrighty so that's how you use the nimble page builder you be patient once it loads you do things and i mean even this section here i can edit this section here if i want um that's entirely up to me um even though it's a saved section i can easily you know i can make this smaller here I can click here and I can move that to the middle so it's not so close uh, I can go to the section itself I can go to the padding area And I can, you know, add padding and all of that sort of stuff down here. Um, if I wanted to, I can bring all of that up a little bit closer like that. I can make that more narrow like that. Should I will go 10. And then when I publish that, you'll see that this has changed as well. So I'm going to click publish. Then I'm going to click the X. And I'm going to come out and you can see this isn't as wide. This has moved up closer and this has been pulled up the page as well. So there you go. That's how you use Nimble Page Builder. You just take your time. Generally, if you scroll over most things, with a page that you'll be building, you can just click on Nimble Page Builder. And when you scroll over things, you'll see things. If you just take your time, it's not something you can rush. A lot of people try and rush the design work of their websites. And that's where they run into problems because they're trying to rush the design work. When in actual fact, design work of a website is probably one of the most tedious and slowest parts of building a website and that's why web designers charge you so much when you go to them and ask them to pay you know you pay somebody to build a website for you so you know if you don't have your if you have your own content and you say well this is what I want the website to do this is how I want it to look these are the colors that I like well then that even though you've given them the content 
that web designer has to design the page, they have to figure out how to best display that content, whether or not to put background colours, what background colours to put where, whether to change colours of headings, fonts and all of that sort of stuff and it's very time consuming, you can't rush these things. If you rush these things, you will not get it right. And then you'll you'll be running off to somebody and saying, well, look, I tried to do this and it didn't work. So just remember when you first start creating the page, come into your current page options and make sure your page template is on Nimble Builder. Make sure you choose the Nimble specific header and footer for this page. Um, you can do your inner and outer widths here if you want. Um, for your page to make your page smaller or bigger. Um, you can, you know, do page speed optimization here. So basically, if you click on that, you can go inherit site wide options or you can go here and you can go <coughs> uh, load pages on scroll and click optimize. And you could, you could put load all images um, on page load, not optimize. So if you click to this, load images on scroll well then the images won't actually load so any images you have on your page they won't load until the person actually scrolls down the page which can actually help with the page speed load speed time um, in google because it's not trying to uh, load everything at once anyway that's uh, my tip on how to use nimble page builder i hope this video has been very helpful to you um, it's a nifty little plugin. Um, you can do quite a lot with it, um, even though it's a free plugin. It doesn't come with add ons as far as I know. And I know Elementor is free as well. But the great thing about Nimble that I just wanted to show you is Nimble has options that the free Elementor plugin doesn't have. So with the free Elementor plugin, you have to add all of these extra plugins to get the extra options, or you have to upgrade to the Pro. So the Nimble has options that the free Elementor doesn't. So you've got, you know, two, three, four columns. You can adjust your columns. You've got a text module. You've got an image module. You've got a header module. You've got icons that you can add. You've got a button uh, module. You've got a um, slider. That's what that image and text carousel is. So you can put images with text over the top of them as a slider at the top. You've got an accordion. You've got your HTML content for your things like your um, your email marketing forms and stuff like that if you need to copy and paste code. Um, embed codes for videos and things. Uh, your post grid is for creating your post page. you got your quotes, your short codes, your spacer, your divider, your map. Yes, you can put a map. Uh, you've got your WordPress widget area, you've got your social profiles, you've got your simple contact form. So you don't even need a contact form plugin. You can just build a contact page, use your simple contact form, and that will create a contact form for you. And then, of course, you have um, a menu, extra menu that you can add to the page anywhere that you like. And these are all drag and drop. Then you have your sections where you have pre-made templates so you could use any one of these as a header a pre-made header and you know you might like the image and you might just want to change the writing you got two with buttons and one without buttons You've got section for services and features so you've got a top section here with three um, three boxes in it with buttons. Um, and then you've got this section here, which has got icons and some information and a background image. You've got an about section. So this is an about section that you could put on your home page if you wanted to. If you're just creating a one page website, it's already pre-made um, and you can make some adjustments to that. You've got contact us section. So here you go, you've got two, you've got one with a map and you've got one like this. Right, so, um, you know, you can even use that for your contact page if you wanted to. How good is that? Uh, you've got a section for Teams. So, you know, you've got two pre-made templates that you can adjust for your team, swap out the images and the text. Uh, you've got empty sections with column layouts. So, you've got two, three, four. Uh, then you've got your header, which you've got two headers, logo on the right, uh, left and 
um, menu on the right, logo on the right, and menu on the left, and then you have one footer section. But you don't have to use this footer section. You can um, you can basically customize, custom create your footer section if you wanted to. Anyway, so that's um, Nimble Page Builder. Very nifty little free plugin to use. Very easy to mobile. Uh, you know, optimize it for mobile phones. You can find it in your WordPress uh, depository. So you just go into your plugins, add new, type in Nimble Page Builder and you'll find it in there and you'll be able to install it. And hey, look, you know, go to the guys page. Um, if you're going to use his plugin, you're going to build a website with it, you know, leave, leave him a comment. He's done a great job with this and go to his main website page, you know, and drop in a small donation for him because, you know, if we support our, you know, our developers who are creating these things and they're not charging them for us, you know, they're not charging us for them, well, then we will continue to get, you know, free stuff, you know, because, you know, that they have costs, you know, they've got a website to run, they've, they've got their time that they're putting in to develop these things. So, you know, if they have a donate, um, you know, section on their website, you know, pop over to their website, you know, donate, shout them a cup of coffee or something and leave them a, you know, a, a you know, leave them a review on their work that they've done. Because, you know, it's free stuff, you know, and I mean, normally, you know, normally free stuff is crap. Um, and you can't do much with free stuff. So, you know, if you're going to use somebody's free stuff, if you're going to use somebody's free option, um, like the free Elementor or the free Nimble Page Builder, always at least do the decent thing and at least pop over and shout them a cup of coffee, you know, if you're using it for each website that you use it on. Anyway, this is Sandra Leming from Queensland, Australia, signing off. Have a great day. Bye for now.